counting on going to my next meeting. I was counting on going to a demonstration. I had all these highfalutin plans going on. And I realized that right then and there that the next moment is not promised you. And uh, that day, if it wasn't for uh, the people helping me out, I would, I would not have made it. I had to even have a blood transfusion everything. And that day was a real meat beater. Let me tell you, it was a real meat beater. And I don't want to go through it again. But I would like to ask people to live like it could be their last day and vote on whatever resolutions you've got coming up. Vote like your city depends on it because your city does depend on your vote. And you uh, are, are the ones that we are entrusting you to uh, carry on that vote. And I'd like to invite the public to come and pay more attention to our city council meetings. I want them to, s I'd like to see more uh, audience participation. I'd like to see more activism. This is a peace activist city. And I'd like to see it stay that way. You know, and uh, also, uh, also, uh, I want to thank the people for coming out and voting. And it's never too late to register to vote now. You can always do it. And I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. And remember, don't act like a turkey. It's a bad time of year to do that. And I also want to thank Dana Smith. Dana Smith, my uh, CNA, Certified Nursing Assistant. She works 11 hours a day at my house since I got out of the hospital last month. And she has been doing everything she can to help me out. Without her, I'd probably be institutionalized after a fall like that and after complications. So Dana Smith, thank you very much and happy Thanksgiving to you. And I wish you and your family a lot of good luck in Sandra's nursing too. And thank you very much, City Council, for what you've done for me. I'm, all, I'm, I'm very proud to be your peace delegate as long as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are there other comments? That's one. <laughs> <laughs> I was well said. I'm a little at a loss for words after that. Um, I'm Howard Cohn. Um, I hang out with a lot of folks who pride themselves on being Tacoma Park volunteers, and, uh, and they are wonderful, extraordinary people, all of them. But what often gets lost in our conversation is the fact that there are seven super volunteers who serve every week of every year and they are the seven of you on the city council. Uh, so let me also thank Dan, Colleen, Josh for your service as you depart. Um, uh, you know, Dan, you and I have known each other a long number of years, um, and you have credit as well for helping start the Tacoma Foundation, the Tacoma Voice, the Green Team, other projects. Colleen, I know you are in charge of the Folk Festival these days and Girl Scout leader. Uh, Josh, you're about to become a basketball coach, I'm told. <laughs> you know, and then there are the four of you who remain on the council, who, and Bruce and Terry in particular, who served many, many, many years already, and all four of you have signed up for another two years. Uh, God bless you. Uh, and then the three who will ascend to the podium uh, or to the dais. Uh, uh, Seth, who's, oh, well, all three who have done great service as civilian volunteers. Uh, Seth with Safe Tacoma, TASD, uh, the Junction Task Force, K with the Rec Committee, the Junction Task Force, SSI, SS Carroll, Tim with Safe Roadways and the Environmental Task Force, and I'm sure I've forgotten half a dozen other things. Anyway, thank you, one and all. Thank you. Mr. Mayor and City Council, Erwin Mack, temporarily Executive Director of Tacoma Langley Crossroads. I, too, wish to thank the Council as a whole for an ex exceptional two years of significant contributions to its terrible, terrible thing called the sector plan, meaning future is in, has been in your hands. And you are to be commended for the manner in which you looked at it and worked toward helping make that difficult place a better place for the future. So thank you for those who are outgoing. Dan, who was with us from the very beginning, 
of the Crossroads Development Authority. Colleen and Joshua came along later, and with the new people of like Fred and Reuben and the mayor and Terry staying, we look forward to them working with the new council members toward a conclusion that makes Tacoma Park proud for being Tacoma Park. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Buddy Daniels, 19 Sherman Avenue, the famous brother of Kay Daniels Cohen, <laughs> council representative from Ward 3. Isn't that the brother of the famous Kay Daniels Cohen? Isn't that what you meant to say? I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, we get mixed up. But I think, uh, and she and I spoke about this this afternoon a little bit, I just want to say this. I, I know it's been on both our minds, and if I make her cry, I apologize. But both our parents were activists in this town. My mother was Opal Daniels, as many of you know, and my dad was Henry Daniels. And I'd like to think that at this point in time, they're looking down smiling, big time, because my sister's on the council. And I think they'd be extremely proud. I know I'm extremely proud of what she's accomplished and what she's done, certainly in the last few years and certainly in the last few months. So I know they're smiling. I'd also like to thank the council uh, for the last two years. It's, it, it, you worked very hard. And to your outgoing council members, for your last six and four years of hard, dedicated work, I've been in a few council meetings over the last 30 years, it means I'm getting old, and it, it's, it's a lot of work. So thank you very much. really appreciate what you've done. And thank you to the new council members who were willing to run. Thank you. Thank you. Other comments? Other public comments? Okay. Um, will the clerk please call the roll? Mayor Williams. I'm here. Council Member Wright. Here. Council Member Clay. Here. Council Member Robinson. Here. Council Member Siemens. Present. Council Member Sniffer. Council Member Schultz. Here. If I can just uh, let everybody know that Council Member Snipper is not able to be here tonight. He's out of town and he will be back next week and he will be sworn in again to his seat at that time. Um, there are a couple of proclamations I just wanted to note. Um, there was a mayoral proclamation recognizing Erwin Mack on his retirement, and uh, it was very nice to be able to uh, present that to Mr. Mack at that celebration last week. And uh, Erwin, we, we certainly appreciate all the effort that you've put in uh, over 15 years as executive director and years before that and all of your efforts in the city and uh, it was it was wonderful for uh, a number of us to be there and to help you celebrate that uh, that milestone and uh, as as we know that was your retirement from your seventh career <laughs> and uh, and we know that uh, we you're always available to recruit back for something else and we look forward to uh, finding an opportunity to do that so thank you and there was also, I also did a proclamation recognizing Alex Rice, Ryan Miller, Jacob Harris, Enoch Davis, and Aaron Richards for achieving the rank of Eagle Scout, and they're in Tacoma Park Boy Scout Troop 33, and we're lucky to have four scouts and one of their mothers, I assume, uh, with us this evening, and they're here uh, observing the council meeting and here for communications merit badge. Okay. Out. They are um, here completing one of the requirements for the communications merit badge. Right. Wonderful. So we're glad to have all of you here this evening as well. And it was wonderful to be at the uh, at the uh, eagle ceremony for uh, the five young men, and that was quite an accomplishment. I think they deserve a round of applause. <laughs> So if you'll uh, take that round of applause back to them and do it mm -hmm. to them. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so we had those proclamations. Then what we now have is adoption of minutes. 
And we have before us the minutes for April 25th, September 12th, 19th, and 26th, October 3rd, 10th, 17th, and 24th. I'd like to move it. Second. They've been moved and seconded. Uh, all those in favor of adoption of the minutes, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. The minutes are adopted. That takes care of all of the minutes from this council. Um, now I'd like to give council members an opportunity to uh, make any remarks they would like to make. Um, if I can just first, I just wanted to note a couple of things. Uh, it's always good to know what's upcoming and I wanted to note that, uh, let's see, on November 26th, it is uh, Small Business Saturday, and I uh, wanted to make sure that everybody knows that and uh, remembers to patronize Tacoma Park businesses on the 26th, which is this coming Saturday. The mayor, the Governor proclaimed it uh, Small Business Saturday in the state. That just came to my attention today. And so I will do a proclamation, but I won't be able to do it until tomorrow. Um, <laughs> also, this coming Saturday, I think, December 11th, uh, is a holiday dinner at the Tacoma Park Seventh-day Adventist Church. And this is a special holiday dinner for any homeless people and senior citizens, and this is their first uh, holiday dinner. They had a Thanksgiving dinner last night, uh, which I went to and which a number of people attended. So if you know anybody or know of anybody who might want to go to that uh, holiday dinner, that is December 11th from 1130 to 2 at the Tacoma Park Seventh-day Adventist Church at 6810 Eastern Avenue. That's right, uh, right across from the post office and the farmer's market. Uh, Erwin might be old enough. And I wanted to also point out to people, remember that January 1st is the uh, implementation of the Montgomery County bag law. And uh, there, there will be a five cent charge for going into a store and getting a bag. Uh, so it's time to bring your own. And so remember, if you haven't already gotten your uh, reusable bags to take shopping with you in Montgomery County starting January 1, you will be paying for the privilege of getting paper or plastic bags. Um, I also just, the, my final comment for uh, things is I wanted to make sure that I recognize Councilmember Siemens and his wife Joyce. Councilmember Siemens and his wife Joyce. Uh, fully engaged. They work tirelessly year round uh, serving the needy in our communities in Silver Spring and Tacoma Park. They work at uh, getting food out every week. Uh, I had the privilege of joining them and uh, also uh, Jen Wofford who organized the event uh, and also uh, Mr. G, Mr. Jenner Lett at uh, Piney Branch Elementary School, uh, Senator Jamie Raskin, Delegate Tom Hucker and others as we uh, helped collect food from the students next door at Piney Branch Elementary School over the last week. We gathered that up this morning, took it over to Adventist Community Services, and unpacked it and sorted it on the shelves, and left at that point for other volunteers to take over. I believe I heard the figures correctly that uh, they're, they're going to be passing out today, tomorrow, and Wednesday 1,000 meals. 1,000 food packages, which include a turkey. To all those who are signed up, please don't go rushing up there now. Uh, but those people who have been signed up over the last month uh, will receive a food package plus a turkey. And so uh, it's, it's true nationwide that food banks are running low and running out of foodstuffs. Uh, they need donations of, of canned goods. They need donations of money. And it's particularly appropriate at this time of year with Thanksgiving to remember that or there are a lot of people who are really hurting and who need this help desperately. Uh, they were lined up this morning two hours before it opened. And it's, that's a lot of people in this area. That was just people in 20912 and 20910. Right. Uh, 
So you can you can do the numbers that there are just an awful lot of people, and it, it just makes you appreciate what we all have to be thankful for, and that we need to share whatever we have with everybody else. And I just wanted to recognize Councilmember Siemens and Joyce Siemens for the year-round work that you do. Thank you. And it's been a real privilege to serve with this council, and we've, I think we've, uh, we've done a lot of good work. We've worked together. It's, it's been an interesting group. Uh, sometimes we all have to kind of herd the other cats in the group, uh, but I, th I think we've made some good progress waded into some tough issues, and I really appreciate all of the hard work that uh, everybody has put into this, and I think, as uh, some people have recognized in their comments, that uh, it, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and I know that uh, in just about all the cases, I guess, the, the people who are no longer running, Josh and Dan and Colleen, that the uh, that a big reason is that you need more time to spend with your families and to devote to other work that pays a whole lot more than this work does. We get paid a little bit, but it's essentially volunteer work. And it's, it's a real honor to have served with you. And I look forward to recruiting you for uh, other things as as, the, as there are community needs that are identified where uh, you might bring your talents to bear and all the knowledge that you've gained from uh, working as members of the council for a number of years. So really appreciate all your efforts and thank you. Are there other comments? Council Member Robinson. I don't usually read, I usually take notes, but I'm a little nervous tonight, my last night, what can you say? Um, I also note that um, those of us who are outgoing are not wearing ties, where the ones who are staying are wearing ties. Just a little observation there. <laughs> anyway, uh, first I want to thank my wife, Sally, and my family and friends who have helped me and put up with me in this four-year odyssey. Uh, I hope that I met the expectations of constituents as I fulfilled this role and identity. And that identity will shift to K. Congratulations. But the experience will stay with me, and it's been a wonderful experience. And I thank my colleagues on the council, the fine staff, and the residents of Ward 3. Uh, one thing I'm leaving office without fully resolving is the dedication of the Tacoma Urban Park to Gilbert Conbe. Over a year ago, this city council formally requested from the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission that this be done, and we are closer. But there are hurdles that remain, and I will work with Kay and staff and MNCPPC to ensure that this happens in the near future. Um, starting in the new year, I hope to host a series of local economic and business roundtables. As a Tacoma Park entrepreneur that has started five local businesses, <clears throat> I'd like to work with others to encourage and support their efforts. I will work diligently on restoring the Tacoma Branch watershed. I own an office building that abuts the wooded area between Ray, <coughs> New Hampshire, Poplar, Fourth, and Orchard. And I support the efforts of other neighbors, the Pinecrest Neighborhood Association, the Tacoma Park Government, and the Ray Children Neighborhood Association in Prince George's County to restore and beautify the Sligo Creek tributary. Uh, this wooded area is in our borders, can be a well-managed asset for all our residents and add to a wider network of natural places. On a broader level, I support the ideas that the idea of depersonalizing corporations. If I were on the council tomorrow, I'd introduce a resolution that would encourage Maryland to explicitly state that corporations do not have the rights of persons in this state. I'd encourage the state to track all corporate charters to see if the corporations are following appropriate competitive and cooperative practices. By that, I mean that corporations are not doing harm or acting out of the scope of their state charters. Without this oversight, corporate behavior is not regulated the way many believe it should be. It's been a great time for me. Thanks again.
Councilmember Klein. Uh, Piper and I have some final final remarks here. Um, I know a lot of times people talk about a lot of the things that they have done over the years, but I actually just want to say thank you to folks and uh, leave a couple tips for the incoming people. And Piper has a couple of tips for the incoming uh, council of children, which she says I'm going to read for her. Um, so first of all, first off, I'd like to thank my partner, Karen, for allowing me to spend uh, six years on the council. And every time it was time to run, and she would encourage me to run again because I liked it so much, even though I knew that she would uh, like me to spend more time at home. And even this round, she said, no, no, run again. You love it so much. Um, and she's sincere. Uh, and and I, I think this was the good choice for me, though, to hang out more with the family. So thank you, Karen, uh, for allowing me uh, six years of this. Um, I'd like to thank all of my neighbors. Um, my neighbors have uh, sort of become my extended family and helped take care of me and my family. I think that my family has eaten dinner at Joanna Hofschneider's house at least once a week for the last six years. Um, and I'm not sure she's ever come to our house during that entire time, maybe twice. Um, but uh, mm. several neighbors, uh, Pam and Marnie, Jennifer and Joff, uh, Danny and Lael, and I could, I could, I could keep going, You've been uh, very good to us, and also helped make it possible for me to do this work. And I, I really appreciate my neighbors. Um, that actually makes a noise when you do that. <laughs> um, I also appreciate all the folks on the Tacoma Park Folk Festival that um, I've been able to work with and will be continuing to work with those folks and the people on the Seasons of Life board, which as you know, after um, it was a, a, a project of Amy Polk and after she passed away, we've got a, a new group of folks that's working on getting a, a birth center here in Tacoma Park. Um, I'd like to thank all of my constituents for all the advice that they have given me and the help and support that they've given me over the last six years. Um, and I'd also like to extend that thanks to the uh, to the staff for all of the help and support that um, every every staff member here at uh, at the city has provided to me and to um, the constituents that I serve. Um, and I'd also like to thank all of my fellow council members. Uh, I will miss all of you guys. Um, not that I won't see you, but it won't be quite the same. So um, I appreciate all my time with you. Um, so I have three tips um, for the incoming council members, and then Piper's going to and then they'll read Piper's written tips. Um, so here's my first tip. Um, something I learned in city planning and became very clear to me my first month or two in office in cities, it's all about the inflow and the outflow. So it's all about Pepco utilities and Washington Gas bringing, piping in things, uh, traffic coming in and out of the city, uh, WSSC and water coming in and out of the city, and it's all about outflow, which I learned a lot about and got very close to the public works director. You'll note that these are mostly things that are controlled by the public works director, um, who um, became my one of my best my best buddies uh, on the on the staff during my time here. Uh, and leaf pickup. I think I spent the first three months working on issues around leaf pickup uh, and have, have moved on to all other kinds of outflow issues. But it's all about the inflow and the outflow. And the second thing is beware the silent majority. Um, you say all po politics is local. You, uh, you may get some, some big grand ideas and start implementing them and think that that's what everyone wants you to do. And then people will wake up and realize that you're doing things around them and you will, the, then the silent majority will rise up and let you know exactly what they think. Even if you've already had five or six meetings about it and invited everybody and they didn't come, <laughs> at some point they will rise up. So beware the silent majority. Um, you have to make extra effort to seek them out. Um, and my last tip is that the smallest things that you do for others are probably the most important things that you do in this job. And you should cherish your time because it's truly a privilege to serve. So Piper has three written tips and uh, some gifts for incoming council kids. Piper, Piper is uh, looking forward to her role as the elder retired states person of council children. And so here's her three tips. First one, you want to help at all? No. Ocean City. What's so great about Ocean City? What should they do? Buy the tickets for the Jolly Rancher rides. But get the ticket. Get your parents to get you the tickets for the Jolly Roger. Roger theme park. You get discount tickets when you go with the Maryland Municipal League. That's that was her key tip. Her second tip: Fourth of July parade. What's your tip? Mm -mm. Save fun to ride. 
It's fun to ride. It's fun to ride your bicycle in the 4th of July parade. Um, and the last one here, Piper has four gifts that you can bring games in case you get stuck in boring council meetings. So for Finn, for Finn who's the, he's the littlest one, she has some, um, some bike streamers for the bike. And for the other three incoming kids, um, she has yo-yos, something that you can play with if you have to sit through a council meeting. And she's going to give those out. Um, I want to thank everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. So today is very sad and, and joyous for me at the same time. Uh, serving on the council truly has been an honor. Um, I think we live in one of the greatest places in the world. We have incredibly amazing citizens who um, debate and hold deeply held values um, in amazing ways. Um, and it's been a real honor to, to serve those citizens and, and be part of the council. I want to thank my, my fellow council members, and I have kind of a little bit that I think that I take away from each of you and each of you have taught me. So for the mayor, I appreciate your leadership, your dedication, your, your great listening and calmness skills. Uh, I think uh, from Bruce, you can always take away that if you start, your blood pressure starts to rise, breathe deeply, think about it for a second, uh, wait a little while, and then, uh, and then we engage. Um, and, and I really uh, have viewed you as a partner in my time on the council, and I appreciate your ability to listen and work in partnership with all of us to try and get accomplished what we'd like to get accomplished. To Fred, um, I greatly appreciate your dedication to Ward 6. Um, you know, sometimes it's thought of as the forgotten ward, and I think the sector plan really brought home for many people on the city that uh, what happens there will have a significant impact on all of the city, not just on, on Ward 6. And I also really appreciate your business experience and your acumen um, and, and what you learned as a banker and how that is helpful to the city. Colleen. The policy chops. Uh, bar none, uh, you know, I think you think about policy uh, at a federal level, a local level, in, in great ways, and a great generator of ideas. And thank you for letting me steal many of your ideas. Anytime. <laughs> uh, to, to Ruben, kind of the wise, sage father of the, uh, the council, speaks the least but has the largest impact with the, with the fewest words. I'll miss you, uh, but we'll come back to visit. Terry, you're really our conscience. Uh, you make us think about uh, things in a moral way, an ethical way, that I think uh, is critically important. And the com your commitment to those who have the least among us uh, is a real challenge to me that to, to personally try to do more for those. Dan, for your fiscal acumen, your continued uh, pushing on the issues of pension, which I think are something that the city has to continue to to uh, to address. Um, your ability to think differently, I greatly appreciate that. To Jesse, your professionalism, you're, you're the glue that holds us all together. Uh, make sure the wheels don't spin off, so I appreciate that. To Barb, your hard work and wrangling the seven of us uh, together to try and figure out what seven individuals want and trying to get us to speak with one voice and trying to do that in a way that I think is always with the best interest of the city at heart. So I appreciate that. To the city staff, Chief Rikuchi is here. I think Sarah's here. There she is way in the back. Um, uh, Daryl and, and all others, you know, I greatly appreciate all the hard work you put in for the city for relatively little pay compared to uh, what many of you uh, in the towns you could uh, deploy other places and, and make more money, I'm sure. So thank you. I also want to thank the spouses, to Karen, Joyce, Jeff, Nancy, Sally, my own wife Eliza. Um, thank you to you all for allowing us to serve and being supportive. Thanks to my, my kids, Aviva and Isaac. 
I was talking with Aviva over dinner if there was anything she was going to miss and the 4th of July day parade was the one thing. But I told her, we can still make a float. We can still be in the parade. We don't, we might have to work a little bit harder on that individual thing, but we, we have uh, reasons to be on the, in the parade still. So to the incoming council members, uh, Tim, Kay, Seth, and to the mayor, Terry, Ruben, and, and Fred who are staying, I kind of, there's three things. One is always breathe deep <laughs> and assume the best about people. Assume the best about the citizens. Assume the best about the city staff. I think sometimes when times are hard, when you're frustrated, uh, human nature can, can lead you to a, a place of thinking that maybe someone doesn't have the best intentions. But remember, I think the vast, vast majority of time, people do have the best intentions, the city staff, the citizens. So take that and then listen deeply to them to understand what their motivations are, what their needs are, and listen to your fellow council members. I think that's the way you get things done, is really understanding what motivates others in the council, what they're uh, focused on, and listening a lot. And then lastly, I say, my hope for you is really to follow your heart and lead with your values. I could say that I, you know, I would hope that you would continue many of the things that we, that we push for, better services, uh, environmental efforts, smart development. Um, but really, I think that if you follow your hearts and, and your own passion and values, you'll lead us uh, to a great vision for the city, a city of compassion, um, a city where we're brought together more. We're still a separated and segregated, segregated city in many ways. Um, and, and also a, a city where we're building a society. We're an example for the rest of America that um, it's not always about lower taxes. Sometimes it's about higher taxes and more services and constructing a society where people live in partnership um, and sisterhood and brotherhood and look out for each other, lift each other up. Um, and that together makes you more powerful, richer, um, and uh, a stronger place. And that vision for our city should be a vision for America. Thank you. Councilmember Schultz. Uh, I just want to uh, s speak to the three departing members of our city council because I think I, uh, it's fair to say that I owe you guys, all of you guys, here and those now departing, uh, uh, a great deal of, of uh, debt, of gratitude, uh, because um, uh, your departure is going to be a huge subtraction, in my mind, uh, from the City Council. Uh, we all appreciate we're going to have replacements, but notwithstanding that we're going to have replacements, your departure is going to be a, a big subtraction because as the new guy on the block uh, over the last two years, I've kind of imprinted on you. You were all, all of you were kind of like the more experienced persons on the council, and I was the new guy. And you know, at my age, it's great to have a feeling of being the new guy. <laughs> Um, and, and one of the things that I have learned is uh, having always worked in hierarchical organizations where you do what you're told and you pass down the orders uh, downward is that in a political environment, it's not hierarchical at all. It's uh, horizontal. We're all equals up here. Some of us have been here for a long time and some of us haven't been here very long at all. That's a new experience. It's another new way of seeing how things get done. And so I have observed uh, with uh, Colleen and Dan and Josh in particular um, how it's possible to really disagree about things and still figure out ways to resolve issues. Um, and, and, and what it takes, as much as I may think that I've got wisdom, and we all have wisdom, but it's, what's interesting is to find out is that there really are different ways of seeing the seeing or a, a problem, and different ways of interpreting it, 
different ways of trying to come up with resolutions to it. And that has really been an really instructive thing, and you guys have been terrifically good at doing that. Um, so it's just going to be, it's going to be uh, different. It's going to be difficult not to have you up here. Um, and I miss you collectively and individually, and I think I've all told you that personally. And if, you ha if I haven't, I'm telling you now. So I really pray that uh, you will continue to bring your influence to bear on us at this, up here at the, at, at the dais. Uh, in ever, whatever way you choose to, to, to do it, because you've got so much knowledge and experience. After two years on the city council, I just sort of feel like now I'm warmed up and I finally figured out how it works. And uh, so, you know, don't waste this, this knowledge and this experience. So with, with that, I would just say that I've adopted a, a new personal motto that I think I will apply. And my motto is, Never in doubt, frequently wrong. That's what I've learned. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck to all of you. Councilmember Stevens. Thank you, Mayor. I think this council for the past two years has been a super council. I've really enjoyed uh, working with my six colleagues on the council. Uh, I'm extremely disappointed that I'm not going to be working with the same six people for the next term, and that doesn't uh, diminish in any way the respect I have for the new people joining the council. But I have uh, learned so much from uh, Dan and Josh and Colleen uh, working with you, and um, have great respect for your knowledge and abilities. and, and uh, I'm going to miss that. Uh, it's, uh, it's a big change, and uh, change comes tough sometimes. So I uh, wish you well, and I wish you uh, return and be with us, uh, even if you're not on the council. Thank you. Okay. We have one remaining item for this council to do. And we have a special session item, which is a single reading ordinance authorizing renewal of a contract with Userful for computer software and support. We need to do this because we need to do it in a timely fashion. And it's also a good opportunity to uh, do this as a single reading ordinance, which requires a roll call vote. And so uh, we, we get to do that one last time. Would somebody like to, no, is, anybody, is anybody gonna present anything or? Do we need to? Did you wanted to move it, Councilmember Siemens? I think we should let the outgoing council members have a chance to move it. I'll move it. Second. Yep. You want to just say anything about this? Um, Library Director Ellen Robbins. Thank you. Um, this is the renewal of a contract that we've had since 2005 when the computer center first opened. Um, Userful Corporation was and still is the only provider of a multi-station Linux-based turnkey computer system. It is operated efficiently with one staff person at all times. Um, the cost represents hardware, software, and support um, at a cost that's actually less than um, we were originally quoted when we put the budget together in January. So um, it's been very cost effective. The total cost is $29,278. Do you have any questions? It appears not. I noted that there are 20 some computers in the library, in the computer center. There, yeah, there are 20, um, 20 workstations in the computer center, um, four more in the senior room, and that's a total of five actual computers because they're multi-station computers. Will this contract replace all of the workstations and the, the computer's hardware as well as the software? Yes, but we keep the, we keep the hardware and we, um, we use it for other purposes. We actually now have multi-station computers in the library for our, our public catalogs. 
so that with um, you can have four uh, four public workstations with two computers, so they continue to be cost effective. Okay. Okay. Good. It's very reasonable for that many workstations. Yes. Yeah. Anything else? Any other council questions or comments? Any public comments? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Mayor Williams. Aye. Councilmember Wright. Aye. Councilmember Clay. Aye. Councilmember Robinson. Aye. Councilmember Siemens. Aye. Councilmember Snipper. Councilmember Schultz. Aye. Okay, that passes unanimously. Thank you. We have now completed the special session. We will adjourn.